Nikon has just released the Nikon Z8 Firmware Update 3.00. It's a huge firmware update for the Nikon Z8, and I just finished updating my camera and going through some of the features. And in this video, I'm going to go over 11 of the biggest features in this new firmware update for the Nikon Z8. Number one, subject detection in manual focus. Now, when turning the focus ring of a manual focus lens, or when using manual focus, you can use subject detection. Pretty cool. This works for both photo and video. Number two, flexible color picture controls. This is mainly for JPEG shooters, and it works in both photo and video modes. To use it, you have to first select flexible color in NX Studio and design a color configuration there, and then export it to your memory card. Number three, new C15 high speed frame capture and release. It's a high speed release mode that only shoots JPEGs. It's compatible with pre-capture, and you can choose between normal and fine quality in the new area in the image quality subsection. You should always select fine quality, of course. Number four, high ISO noise reduction in the photo shooting menu now allows you to select a noise reduction method. There are two methods, type A and type B. Type A is the normal method, and type B, according to the camera, is different from the normal mode. Hmm, very descriptive Nikon, and very mysterious. So I actually tested this Type A and Type B method on two JPEGs, same settings, taken in very low light. And the Type A method versus the Type B method, it seems I did notice that the Type B method preserved details a little better. You can see on the screen, there is the Type A method on the left, the Type B method on the right. In the Type B method, the text looks a little bit more preserved, and there's a little bit less salt and pepper noise or impulse noise in the image. So I would conclude, at least in this case, the type B method is a little bit superior to the type A method. But again, maybe this depends on your overall use case, but it seems overall that the type B method preserves more detail. Number five, focus shift can now be used with pixel shift. If you're a fan of pixel shift shooting and also want to stack, now you can. And you can also use AE bracketing with pixel shift. Number six, auto capture gets more configuration options. Now you can set the date and time in advance. The detection range has been extended and you can use it with the C15 option. And a yellow frame is displayed to indicate that auto capture is on. Number seven, in custom C1 and C2 autofocus area modes, you can now extend the dimensions of the C1 and C2 boxes in both photo and video modes you can select the tiniest box to pretty much the whole screen. Nice. Number eight, huge one, maximum aperture LV setting allows you to force the maximum aperture to be used when displaying the scene in the viewfinder and the rear view display. And Nikon warns us not to aim our cameras directly at the sun as there is no stop down protection in this mode. Number nine, another huge one. This happens to be one of my favorite additions to the new Nikon Z8 3.00 firmware. It's a custom focus limiter. This is going to be huge for bird photography. You can find it in the menu option A16 by selecting a near distance and a far distance. You can either use the wheels to select the distances or focus on a distance with your lens. Whoa, this will be great for bird photography when the subject is always a certain distance from the camera, like a hummingbird at a flower. And you can assign a button like a lens switch to toggle the focus limiter on and off too. Awesome. Number 10. Now you can assign auto capture to the eye menu. If you like to use auto capture a lot, you can assign it to the eye menu. Number 11, high frequency presets. You can now save a bunch of high frequency presets in the high frequency reduction function. Useful for people who shoot under LED lighting. Okay, so those are the biggest changes in the Nikon Z8 3.00 firmware. But there are a few other small changes and Nikon actually produced a supplementary PDF guide to these changes and you can download it on their website and I've linked to that page in the video description and in the comments. So I hope you enjoyed this incredible update to the Nikon Z8 and happy shooting!